Hi all, this is Chetan and uh, welcome to this series Getting Started with EC2. This is third lecture uh, and in this we are going to see how to launch your first EC2 Windows instance. Uh, make sure you watched uh, the earlier video that is launching a Linux instance because there I explained uh, other things about EC2. So uh, the steps remain similar. Uh, while launching EC2 Linux instance you uh, used an AMI here also you will use AMI but this time it will be Windows AMI also you will attach a disk uh, but this time you will attach a disk of 30 GB size because Windows need more disk space uh, also one difference is that in the security group for Linux instances you open port 22 for SSH but as you know for Windows we need to RDP remote desktop and that's where we need to open port 3389 instead rest of the settings and the process will remain same so quickly uh, I have listed down the steps here I'm not going to iterate over this but if you want to do it yourself pause this video just look at the steps and try to do it on your own so let me go to AWS console and do this all the steps now one thing is uh, we already created one key pair uh, earlier for Linux instance and you can very well use the same key pair to launch your EC2 Windows instance as well only thing is that in order to get the Windows password you will need a PEM file and uh, if you know in earlier video I downloaded PPK file because I'm using uh, Windows workstation and I was using putty to connect to my Linux instance but then let's see how to convert PPK to, to PEM using putty gen okay so uh, let's launch the instance as I said this time we will select and Windows AMI so just scroll down and find the Windows AMI which is free tier eligible this is Windows Server 2019 base I'm selecting the same uh, I'm selecting T2 micro because that is available in free tier and in the configuration I'm leaving most of the things as default just making sure I'm using uh, first availability zone uh, in Mumbai uh, third availability zone does not support T2 micro instances so be careful and then on add storage I'm keeping it default of 30 GB tags again I'll add a, at least a name tag which says my uh, EC2 Windows instance and next is security group I'm I will create a new security group say EC2 Windows and this time I'll open RDP port 3389 for my IP address right now this is not SSH like a Linux machine I am going to launch the instance and I'm at the last step I am going to select my key which the which is the same key I used for Linux machine as well so as I said you can use same key to launch as many instances you want now uh, the instance will get launched but uh, the time it would take would be slightly more than Linux machine so I'm just going to pause this video for some time until the instance is in running state okay my instance is now running uh, now I want to log into this instance but uh, being Windows I need to log in with RDP and I need a username and a password so username is an administrator but uh, I need to have a password that password I can only get uh, by providing my key now you can select the instance and go to actions and say get Windows password now many times it may happen uh, your password is not available so you would have to wait uh, a little further uh, in my case it's available now here I need to use my private key content so as you know I used uh, my key I can load my key here and it should give me the Windows password so I'm just going to my uh, I'm locating my keys where I had downloaded and uh, I have my key dot ppk but the problem is this is a ppk file uh, I need a PEM file so let me cancel this and let me go to my putty gen to convert a ppk file to uh, pem file so i'm just opening my putty gen and uh, i need to load my ppk file and then i need to convert it to pem so go to the conversion and say export open ssh key just say yes and you should typically give the same name so that uh, you can identify keys the name does not matter the content matters so just save it and just close it now I have PEM file at the same location 
now again I'm just going there action get Windows password this time I'll provide my key file that is PEM file and decrypt the password now you see uh, I got the de de decrypted password I'm just copying it and maybe store it in a temporary notepad now in order to now get the windows public ip i'll just copy it from the console i can also use public dns name now i need to rdp so i'm just going to open my rdp remote desktop connection and putting the public ips uh, i need to make sure i am using the right username and the password so i'll say connect it will ask for username and a password so i'm putting username administrator that's a default username for all Windows AMIs and the password the one that I had copied I'm just putting it there say ok yes and it takes me to my instance and now this is uh, similar to your Windows instance that you do RDP right so you can do all the installations uh, you can access internet from this machine as well and uh, you know very well how to operate a windows machine so it takes uh, maybe a couple of seconds to initialize this machine and then you can see the desktop i'm just pausing it for a couple of seconds not really needed so this is my windows desktop and i can do all the activities here so that's it for this lecture um, make sure after you are doing the exercises you are terminating your ec2 instances otherwise uh, if you have too many EC2 instances uh, then you would uh, get an AWS bill if you cross your free tier so just go to your instance go to the state and say terminate so that's it uh, stay tuned we are going to look at the advanced features uh, like uh, instance types and AMIs and pricing options and much more in the following session thanks for watching